In the previous section, we discussed the block and inline behavior of an element. Now to change this, you can use the display property. Display has many other options too, which we will see in this section. But let's begin with the basics. I'm going to begin with this sample program where I have two divisions. I have applied the CSS for division where I have height and width as 50 pixels and I have given some border as well. Let me just save this and go to the output. As you can see, both the divisions display on the different line because they are the block elements. Now instead of division, if I give span, let me just change this to span. Here also I'm going to say span and I will again say span. Of course, this division also I'm going to make it for span. Let me save this. We go to the output and I refresh. As you see that there is no margin on the top or bottom because the span is inline element. At the same time, they display on the same line. Now display has various options. Out of many options, if I talk about four options, then we see display none, display inline, display inline block and display block. By default, Division is block only. When I say span, it is inline. When it is inline, it means the height and width is not applied. But let me just say display inline block. Now I'm saving this and going back to the output and I will refresh. Now if you observe that the span does display on the same line because we mention inline, but inline block it is. It means that the height and width is applied. So if you want to understand the difference between inline and inline block, the clear difference is that in case of inline, no height and width is applied. Whereas in case of inline block, they do not come on the new line for sure. But at the same time, if you have given any width and height, that is applied as well. So that is the difference between inline and inline block. As long as block is concerned, you can easily make out that if I put this as a block, in spite of this thing is a span. But because I'm giving block, that means they have to consider height and width and they have to come on the new line as you can see here. In case if you give none, it means that you are hiding that element. Now hiding in fact, CSS has visibility hidden as well as display none. In terms of output, they both are same. But internally, there is a difference. The difference we will dig in in later sections when we discuss about visibility also. But at the moment, you can consider display none means you are hiding an element. Generally, we use this when we have to change. That is, we have to show or hide the element at runtime. Let me give one example here. Let's say I have a button. Let me put an H1. Here I say this is a title which I may show and hide. So I'm going to say H1. Let me give an ID also to this. This is a bit of JavaScript I'm trying here. So anyway, you can check my JavaScript tutorials for that. And here I want to put a button. For example, I want to say show and hide H1. Right. So this is show hide. Now I'm going to say script tag. The script tag which I'm writing having the default display as none. This is an additional information which is useful for you. So when you say script, you do not see this script on the HTML page. The reason is that by default, the display of script tag is none. Like the default display of div is block and default display of span is inline. Similarly, the default display of script is none. Anyway, this is just an additional information. Now let's create a function which I want to call. Let me say on click and I'm going to say show hide. Now the function show hide. Here I can say first of all, let me just uh, take the ID here. So I'll say txt or title whatever document dot get element by id and i want to have the reference of the txt i would say label rather or title let me say title 
meaningful names nothing else otherwise no issue at all and here also I'll take title now the first thing I want to hide it right so I'll say title dot style dot display is the CSS property the style property is basically used to change the CSS at runtime that is in JavaScript so I'll say title dot style dot display is equal to simply none so this is the setting I want to apply let me just save this go back to the output I'll refresh the screen and click you see that the display none was highlighted time being it got executed and you see h1 it says display none so that style is applied on click of a button in case if you want to show and hide certainly you need a flag let's try that also here I can say if this display property is none then because h1 is a block element that's going to be the default value so I'll select this and make it a block element that is display is equal to block else I'm going to say none now let me just save go back to the output refresh this is none and here we have the block now you see in the console that every time I click on the button it changes the value of display so this is the basic idea about display none inline inline block and block values apart from these values there is a flex related display properties or even grid related display properties so display grid display flex and there are much more with display which we will understand when we have to practically implement few layouts in the forthcoming sections of this series